guilty as sin. The verdict tonight for the priest accused of stealing from a wealthy Delray Beach parish. Tim Malloy has been covering this court case from the very beginning and was there for today's verdict. Father Francis Guinan was all smiles this morning as the closing arguments began, but the mood shifted. The jury hearing the state argue he lifted $19,000 a month out of the collection plate. During the 20-month period, he was pastor of St. Vincent Ferrer Church, taking nine personal trips, including Las Vegas, Ireland, and the Bahamas. The defense said he may have been frivolous, but he was not a criminal, that he was allowed under somewhat sloppy diocese rules to spend at his discretion. The jury didn't buy it. As count one, we find the defendant guilty of grand theft of $20,000 or more. It took less than three hours for the conviction to come down. And they breached the faith, particularly here, the priest breached the faith of those in this congregation. And we're pleased that the jury has found him to be accountable. As Father Guinan was taken into custody, his attorney, who was successful in getting the lesser charge, continued to argue the church had its hand in the downfall. I think there are a thousand parishes across this country where it could be happening. I'm not saying it is, but could be happening. Because when you give full discretion to people to spend money, discretion means discretion. It doesn't restrict it in that situation. Clearly crestfallen fellow priests who kept a vigil through the six-day trial wouldn't comment. But two interested Catholics with opposite opinions did. Broad rules. And in those broad rules, without specific indications, he did what he thought he could do. Is though because he's a priest, uh, a man of the cloth, if you will, um, that... He's being treated, you know, with more of a gentle approach. One interested party was an early witness for the prosecution, then stayed in the background until the verdict was read. Former Delray Beach detective Tom Watley arrested Father Guinan years ago. And he augmented his salary with about $240,000 over a 20-month period. That's a lot of money. That's a great gig if you can find it. You know, there's a big cloud over Delray now over all these years that this has been going on, so it's time to move on. From the diocese tonight, this just in, and they had a lot at stake in this, and we're also under a lot of scrutiny in this case, a guarantee to parishioners that there will be biannual reviews of every parish's bookkeeping, as well as restitution sought for all the money lost or stolen or whatever in all of this a few years back. For his part, Father Guinan tonight is in custody. He could get house release or house arrest until his sentencing, which is uh, in March, and he could get... 15 years in prison as opposed to the 30 he could have gotten. Back to you.